Hey guys, Kev here, and uh, I have a bunch of unboxings to do. Uh, I am too sick and tired to do a bunch of videos on each thing, and I don't even know what's in here, so I'm just going to unbox everything. Uh, apologize, I sound like ass, as Kyle told me, <laughs> to which I said he is an ass, and... Um, yeah, so my kid was sick. I've said this before. I don't really want to go into it. But then we got sick. She's doing great now, so thank God. Um, she, we had a little bit of a scare one night with her temperature going from 100.4 to 96. And we had to get her back up and then whatever. But um, she's, she's doing great at this point. And now we have whatever it is. I just have like a head cold and a little bit of a sore throat. It's not in my chest, so that's good. My wife has a little congestion down there, so I don't know. <clears throat> Thinking it's just some kind of cold. It's not, you know, the Rona. And uh, if it is, whatever, we're at home. We skipped our vacation so far to stay home with it. So, anyway, unboxing knife is the Liang Ma KUF version 2 in Lefty. <clears throat> he sent me this to check out. I am uh, contemplating purchasing this off of him. Uh, and then chopping the Teletubby off. I think you can do that. Somebody said it might be some kind of internal stop pin or something. I think if you just chopped it right here, you'd be fine because that little hook on the blade uh, is at the top of that or at the bottom of this. So if you chopped it right and kept it flush with the frame, you'd be fine. It would look a little weird from the top maybe, but uh, it would function perfectly fine. I just think it would make the action more drop shut. And of course, I just think it would look better. And in pocket, it just seems weird to have this thing there. So anyway, other than that, I really like this knife, especially that it's left-handed. Uh, let's get into whatever this stuff is. Oh, okay. Uh, so this first thing, <clears throat> I might have a couple personal things. Um, just because I'm just grabbing what I had on my porch. So I, I bought collars for the dogs. Um... Our dog Cheyenne already had one of these, but it was a little too big. So I figured since I was buying one for the new guy, I would get her one. These things hold up substantially well. I mean, she's had hers for years and it cost 10 bucks. Um, so the only time it doesn't hold up is uh, when, when we got her, she was a puppy and we had a bigger dog and we got him one and she would pull on it and if your dog's gonna, like, if your other dog is gonna fucking play and rip it apart, then it's not gonna last that long, but I feel like that's any collar. Um, anyway, it has her, um, it has her name and my cell number on here, I guess. I don't want to go showing that, maybe I already did, but hers is pink, with, uh, pink interior, pretty cool. Um, and then I got one, this is why I got him, because we got a new dog. We adopted him from a rescue, his name is Casper. Uh, and his is blue. So we got blue and pink. Casper, everything's spelled correctly. Yep, perfectly. Okay, uh, moving on. They didn't put a card in there. It was from Etsy. The shop is called uh, E Case Inc. Um, e T underscore S O L E T G O. Et Seletgo. I don't know. They're out of Rialto, California does seem to be kind of maybe Chinese for how it's so cheap for leather, but I'm telling you, they last, so I don't know. This is the one I want to do last. Um, I got another thing from Amazon. I'm guessing is not knife related. Let me just check that real quick. All right. Uh, dog harness. I already got one, but it was too small for the guy. Hey, look at that. Matches perfectly. Yeah, I know. I'm bougie. What do you want to do? What are you going to do, actually? Nothing. Ah. All right, this one here is from Mateo. He is a viewer, fantastic viewer. Uh, Mateo Martinez, Matthew Martinez. I think he's uh, uh, Matthew Martinez, 1987 or something like that. Or 1967 something like that on it's 87 probably because he's not that old on um instagram and then on uh youtube he spells his name mateo martinez backwards everybody calls him zenny 
Zene, kura, blah, 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 because he spells it backwards and people don't realize that. Anyway, yeah, I think he sent me jerky. Um, now, this is a risky move, guys. Um, I've never met Mateo. <laughs> He's a great viewer. He, he does super chats all the time, um, but I've never met him in person. And he's sending me food. Um, so, like, he could be poisoning me. I, I don't think so. He's a good dude. Just saying. The knife community rules, okay? The number one is sweet, hot barbecue. And number two is lemon, pepper, green chili. Um, then he wrote something on the back. I don't know what that is. Maybe who he was going to send jerky to. Um, all right. So... He just threw this one in because I told him my wife didn't really like uh, spicy stuff. So I'll try that one first, I guess, just to, you know, give it a shot here. Yep, that's good. <laughs> just kidding. Um... This is the stuff I want. The spicy, hot and spicy, or whatever. I like the ones that are like hot and sweet, you know what I mean? Dude. Dude, Mateo. I would buy this shit. You need to bag this shit up and sell it. I'll buy that shit. I need more of this. I love good jerky, man. This shit's good. Both of them are good. I just love the hot and spicy kind. Damn, that's good, dude. Nailed it. Thank you. That's my boy right there. Helps with the cold, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I am out of it obviously. Just been at home for like four days now. Alright, this is an actual knife. This is from White Mountain Knives. So go check out whitemountainknives.com. Uh Justin who runs the place is awesome. Um here is the uh the dress or whatever. Um I have a code there, Lefty10. You'll get 10% off your order for U.S. orders unless unless you order like a Benchmade or a Spyderco. They they don't participate. But um, Yeah, this is a Wii. This is the Wii Eidolon. I didn't realize how small it was, so we'll see. But you got your pouch. Eidolon, Black G10, Integral Handle, Gray stainless steel liner, stone wash 20 CV. I think these are like 185 bucks. And I think for what you get, that's decent. I wanted the carbon fiber um, because I prefer that over G10, which I hate. Uh, but beggars can't be choosers. That's all he had. Here's a Isham. Seems like they're really struggling to sell the Isham stuff. No offense. I'm not a big fan of his designs, but I think they're cool. <laughs> But it seems like every week they have a giveaway where you buy this, you get that, and it's always like you get some kind of Isham with it. Um, you get your fucking cloth and your shit. Everybody knows this stuff. A wee sticker. And you get your knife. Oh, yeah, it's a little guy. Look at this sucker. Holy shit. Okay. I think the Koof is like a three and a half inch blade. All right, so you can see there, it's a very small guy. It's a top flipper. Oh, that's cool. Liner lock is why I picked it up. So it's gonna be lefty friendly. Dead nuts on the centering. Really interesting little guy. It is an integral made out of G10. Another reason I wanted the carbon fiber because that would have been dope. <laughs> uh, but it does feel really good. I actually like the car, or the, uh, G10. Oh, it has a deep carry clip. That looks nice. It's not reversible, but, you know, uh, pivot looks cool. I really do like that pivot. I'm liking this design. Let's um, see. Okay. 
Um, stone wash blade, again, I, I hate that they only do stone wash bead blasts. They rarely do a satin, uh, probably because it's harder and takes longer and it costs more, but it looks better. There's your Justin Lundquist right there. I've seen a couple of people get these already. Uh, yeah, action's not going to be fantastic just because it's very, very light on the blade. Um, it is pretty intuitive, I will say. Uh, maybe once we get it apart and, you know, maybe we could throw some bearings in there or just lube it up. I'll try some KPL on the detent ball first and then we'll go from there. But I like the design. You see how the the uh, flipper tab is just like up on the top there? Damn, that jerky is good, guys. Uh, you can see the edge of the blade through that hole. I don't know why they did that, but it kind of looks cool. <laughs> feels good man this thing's cool it's not the most intuitive uh left-handed i feel like right-handed because you have the clip you have a little more to grab onto um but i guess i'm fine can you do an index roll yeah you can do an index roll just like that it is cool that it's like a bic lighter style where you get up on top um and then you bick it down Seems like you need to get towards the back and then, yeah, really give it the Bic lighter. Um, instead of trying to start from the front like you would on a front flipper, you would go like this. Now you're just gonna slow roll it, right? If you get it on the top and the back, it fires out. It's a little too small for my hand. It, it really is tiny for my hand, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. But that's me. That's a personal thing. If you have a smaller hand, I have a large to XL glove size hand. Um, and it's just like everything's slipping out of my hand right now when I'm going to flick it. It's just not, com it's not comfortable. It's not fun. Um, maybe if I'm not holding it up, it's still... Like, I much prefer the feel of, like, my Pena Lanny. Um in that sense. I feel like this could stick up a little more, give you a little more traction to crank it out. Um, cause I'm like, I'm like, did I get it? You know? And then cause I'm left-handed, my fingers are wrapping around too far. They're going to cover the blade if, if I'm not careful. And then I'm slipping a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's probably not going to be for me, but uh, I definitely see why people are liking it. It's a, it's a solid Lundquist design. The integral part is really cool. Uh, ergos, yeah, again, if you have a smaller hand, like mine just fits, right? Uh, if you have a smaller hand, you're really gonna like this. This blade is super thin. I went with the drop point, uh, cause I hate daggers, I really do. Um, I just don't see the purpose in a dagger um, other than maybe cutting myself. And I really like to get up on a blade, uh, choke up on a blade and slice. Uh, I don't really like to hang back here. And with this knife being so small, you'd be stuck like this, right? Like you can't even, you can't do any pinch grips. I mean, maybe a pinch grip, right? But that's just, I don't, I don't see why anybody would want a dagger unless you have a tiny hand. Cause if you have a small hand, now you can grip it back here, right? I guess, and you can use it like this. But for me, I want to be up here. So no, no go on dagger for me. It's already breaking in a little bit here. Um, yeah, just gotta give it the hammer. Ow, fuck, cut myself. See, it's just too small. I turned it around trying to open it and the tip just got me. Um, so yeah, we'll see if, if this thing lasts longer than an unboxing, <laughs> you know me. Uh, if I don't like something, if it's not going to work, I turn it around pretty quick just because I'm buying so much shit to bring in for the channel that I need the funds to keep moving. And if it's not going to be something that sticks around for a little while, then it's kind of pointless to keep it even for the review. Um, and I can pretty much tell you everything right now I did, right? Hollow grind. It feels really good, that hollow grind. You need to have small hands for this thing, guys. I mean, that's 
that's my biggest point on it right there. Uh, but anyway, I think there's still some available at White Mountain Knives. Like I said, use my code LEFTY10 if you want a little discount. Or don't. Go somewhere else and get it. I'm just telling you. Uh, 185 bucks for 20 CB and an Integral. I mean, if you've never had an Integral and you're kind of a guy who doesn't want to spend more than 200 bucks and you have small hands, this is a fucking good option. I mean, seriously. Maybe this is easier. I didn't even think of that. Ah! So maybe I just have to do the uh, index roll. Ah! All right. Hey, that actually feels pretty good. Still... Would I ever really carry this knife? No. Uh, personally, just because I have front flippers I like much better. I can tell you right now, my Peña Lanny and my Shamwari and my Burger would just dominate this thing in terms of pocket time. But I like that it's a liner lock. Ironically, none of those other ones are liner locks and they all somehow operate a little bit easier for me. Um, and I don't think the Shamwari is much bigger. Um, it's a three inch blade. I think this was like 2.8 or something. Um, so yeah, I guess it is a little bigger, but I don't know. It's an interesting knife. Definitely if you have bigger hands, do this, right? It works. So I take back what I said. If you have smaller or larger hands, you could operate this guy if you want to have a little backup. Cause this thing is thin as fuck, man. I mean, look at that edge. That's a hollow grind on an already stupid thin blade stock. That's one thing we nails every time is the grind. Um, they really do a good job with that. So um, that is the Wii Eidolon. All right. And then, of course, we had the um, we had the collars for the dogs. We had the harness for the dog. And we had the fantastic, going to eat some more beef jerky from Mateo. Um, just really good shit. Uh, so thank you, Mateo. Thank you, Justin at White Mountain Knives. Thank you, Amazon. And thank you, Et Contego on uh, Etsy for the collars. I love you guys. I really hope you're doing great. I hope you're feeling better than I am. Um, Hope you're having a wonderful summer. I love you all, and I will catch you later.